What's going on guys? Welcome to Late Night Base. My name is Rabbit. I'm sitting here with Jerry. Um, Jerry's a, my father-in-law, a good friend of mine. Um, I got him vaping, uh, what was it, about eight months ago now? Seven. Seven months ago. Uh, so he's been tobacco free for seven months and uh, we're sitting down now with uh, Derby City Flavor. Um, they sent me their juice line to review and we're going to sit out here in this beautiful day and try it out and um, see what we think. Okay, the first flavor we're gonna try is Shanghai Ginger Candy. And so, you wanna read drip there? We'll see what we get here off this first one. Um, the blends are pretty thick, um, not crazy. I'm gonna say 60, 40 blend. What, what flavor do you get out of it? What do you taste? Candy. You get candy? I get a, um... Candy. It's a very light flavor, isn't it? Yeah. I don't really get a whole lot of anything on mine. I don't get a whole lot of flavor After at all. After a couple hits, it's different. Yeah, I'm running them on on the uh, the Plumeville um, Parallel 30 gauge. He's running the Solaire on a Twisted 28 uh, Micro Cool. Um, Yeah, there's a little bit of that ginger sweetness, that little bit of um, tangy ginger root yeah. in there. That's a very, very light flavor. Not a whole lot of, nothing really in your face or standing out there. Uh, vapor production pretty good on it. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, they're starting to kind of warm up. You got to get that yeah. kind of like a warm ginger candy, kind of like that uh, crystal candy. What's it, like the sugar candy? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. That. Yeah. It's sugar uh, ginger More candy. Like hard rock. Yeah, the hard rock candy yeah. stuff, yeah. And then it tastes pretty good. It's not bad. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Shanghai ginger candy. Okay, we're going to talk about our second flavor here. This is our signature Modeska. Modeskia? Modeskia? I don't know how you pronounce that. I don't either. Um, what flavor are you getting from it? I thought of licorice, but it ain't. Try here. I don't know. Vanilla? Yeah. Coco and a coconut. Yeah. Right. Almost like a... Yeah. You get that coconut in it? Uh-huh. Just a little bit. Another very, very light flavor. Uh, we're, we're starting from the, the lightest and working the way to the darkest so we don't burn ourselves out on them. Um, this is another very, very light flavor. It's sweet. It's good. It's a good flavor. Yeah. I didn't bring our, um, the list of what these are supposed to taste like. I forgot them. So we're kind of blind tasting them here and just seeing what we get. Yeah, vapor production is good on both of these so far. Uh, there's no throat hit on any of these so far because they're all zero milligrams. So you're not getting any kind of um, harshness from them at all. Very, very light. I don't, that's another one I don't get a whole lot of flavor at. Mm -mm. So. Yeah, the Modesky is a very, very light, sweet, it's more kind of a good. coconut milk flavor. Yeah. Big good for like... Yeah, it's got coconut. Yeah, there's, it's like a coconut milk kind of stuff. Um, I had to look up the actual ingredients on these. But it's not bad. I no, it's pretty on that good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think it's your Modesky. Okay, we're back here with uh, the Mayor's Mint Julep. Uh, 
I've never actually had a mint julep. Have you? I know it's a, it's a drink with mint. That's about the only thing I know about a mint julep. I know it's got that big, they put that big mint it's leaf in it. It's got a little there. bit of a mini taste. A little bit. Um, from the smell, it's, um, smell that. It's got, you can definitely tell there's a mint in it and there's a sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that smell. How's the taste on that one? It's many, but really I can't figure out the taste. Yeah, it should be pretty interesting, but I forgot these uh, flavor list. Uh, I'll post, uh, of course, everything will be posted on here, what it's supposed to taste like, and we'll see what we're actually getting out of it and see how different they are. Actually, I don't get no taste. It's It's got a mint. Oh no, I get that. It's got a mini flavor, but yeah, it's um, no, I ain't getting nothing. Almost like a cough drop, like a mint, like a mentholated cough drop, like a yeah, a little like bit. a honey, uh huh, like honey and mint. Another very very light flavor. They've been very light up to this point, haven't they? Yeah, it's really light. Not bad. I mean, none of these flavors are bad. Yeah. Just, nuh uh. It tastes pretty good. It's just a very, very light, light, light flavor. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, mint julep, just a little bit of sweetness and mint. Uh, okay, guys, our next flavor is bluegrass bourbon ball. Um, yeah, this one seems a little bit thicker right off the bat here, PGVG. Definitely get bourbon ball from it, don't you? Mm-hmm. How's it? Uh, yeah. It tastes good. If you're a bourbon drinker. Yeah. Well, I'm not a, a bourbon drinker, but I like bourbon balls. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The further we go, the little bitter it is. Yeah, of course, we're, we're working our way from light to dark here, and it's getting dark as you can see there. Uh, still zero milligram. Um, it tastes good. Try here. Mm -hmm. mm, that is good, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get the, that kind of hickory. Yeah. Charred whiskey, mm -hmm. yeah. bourbon, barrel. real sweet uh, barrel whiskey. Um, yeah, very, very, get notes of brown sugar. We drip there. Uh, brown sugar, molasses, and that little bit of bourbon. You don't really get a, I don't really get an alcohol taste from it though. Uh -uh. Like, it's, it's not. It's sweet. That slight sour note that you get from bourbon, yeah, um, is there. Hmm, that's really good at like after dinner or something. That's uh, yeah. A little bit of chocolate notes in there. You get a little bit of chocolate. I kind of exhale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. I like that bourbon ball. Yeah. It's not what I was expecting at all when, when I said bourbon. The smell of it smells just like bourbon balls. It's that liquor smell. Mm -hmm. But when you vape it, you get a lot of different flavors. They're very compact flavors. Yeah. Very, very mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's great. Gotta check that one out, uh, Bluegrass Bourbon Ball. Yeah. Moving along in our lineup here, uh, this is the Kelba's Morning Coffee. I mean, right on down the line, you can see it's getting darker. Now, this one is 12 milligrams, so we'll get to see how the nicotine feels and stuff on that one. It smells like uh, the coffee after it's been, well, after, after it's been brewed. After it's been brewed, yeah, yeah. exactly, and the filter that 
Like if you smell the coffee filter, that's what you're getting. Yeah. So let's try her out here. And it's strong. The strong coffee? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. That throat hit. You can definitely feel the throat hit. You can tell it's a 12 milligram. You can feel it in the back of your throat. Right off the yeah. bat, they hit that yeah. thing. And that coffee's a... Um, there ain't no cream or sugar in it. Uh, uh, that's it's black. black. Ooh, that's yeah. harsh. Very, very harsh. Oh, yeah. I don't vape 12 milligrams on this, right. so I can really feel it. You, I'm sure you feel it there, too. <coughs> I feel it's, it on the first hit. Yeah, it's a really high-quality nicotine. I can tell you that. It's, um, it's a solid 12 throat hit. And it's a very bitter, dark coffee. <coughs> oh, yeah. Now, th 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 this is coming from a man that, how many pots of coffee you drink a day? I drink coffee from the time I get up, say, 7.30 <laughs> until 10 or 11 at night, and I'm still drinking coffee. Yeah, he pretty much drinks coffee all day. I, I drink coffee occasionally, but I like mine with milk and sugar. You drink your black, don't you? Yeah, I like my black water. What, what would you compare this to? What brand of coffee? Maxwell House. You think it's Maxwell House? I drink Folgers. <laughs> oh, God. It's strong. It's, uh... <coughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that nicotine really hits you. It'd be good when you first wake up with the... But see, you wouldn't really want to smoke... Make coffee when you're drinking coffee. You want something to kind of bounce Yeah. <coughs> it's strong. It, Man. Uh, that throat hit is definitely there. Open up my air hose a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, bear production is good, but that uh, throat hit is That's fair. a little different after you open it up some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that throat hit is very, very strong. It's a good flavor. It's a nice, dark, rich yeah. coffee. It's definitely full body. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Kelba's morning coffee. There you go. Okay, our last juice in the line here is Archie's Derby Reserve. And this is... Uh, the darkest one out of the crew, and this is zero milligram. Um, the smell is very, very strong. I get a, a liquor smell out of it. I get almost like a chocolate. I get a, I get a chocolate Your smell. Chocolate out of it. taste. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's good too. Mm -hmm. That's a you right off the bat you get like a walnut. Yep. A walnut walnut taste there. With some chocolate. With chocolate and a little bit of that bourbon sourness yeah. on top of it. Hmm, that's a very, very good liquid. Yeah. Very different. Uh, I know this is probably their, their signature liquid here, the Derby Reserve. Um That's zero milligrams? Zero milligrams. And it's good, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's um, pretty good. It tastes great. Very heavy, dark chocolate and yeah. walnut. And maybe a little bit of caramel. Maybe. Yeah, a little, just a touch of caramel. Yeah, like a caramel. And you get like a crust, too. I get like that pie crust. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like it. Hmm. Very good, good flavor. So yeah, that one is it's the good. Derby Reserve. Okay, in our conclusion here of Derby City flavors, uh, their elixirs, uh, we went through the whole line here, and they're they're interesting flavors, aren't they? I mean, they're nothing like your your typical run of the mill flavor. You don't have your blueberries and your strawberries, and it's very. I would classify this as a manly vape. This yeah. is. I don't see a whole lot of women vaping bourbon ball and stuff like that. Yeah. There, I'm sure there are some out there that would. But for the most part, this is a masculine line. Um, very rich flavors, very dark flavors. Um, really heavy on the liquor side. Um, I get liquor out of a couple of these. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, their light flavors are really light. It's a really sweet, light. Um, I say my favorite out of the bunch for me... Um, is the Derby Reserve. Um, 
the Derby Pie. Um, it's just got the most complex flavor. It's a very interesting flavor. Yeah. What would you say your favorite is? I like the coffee. You like the coffee one? So his was a coffee one. He, yeah. I don't, it's a little <laughs> strong, but I liked it. <laughs> but yeah, Derby City Flavors. Make sure you check them out. I'll have a link for the website um, in the description below. Guys, as always, if you have any questions, email me, rabbitsreview at hotmail.com. Visit the Facebook group, Late Night Vapes. As always, guys, have a great day. Vape on. See you guys later. Have a good one.